So uh, today, you can probably tell by the title, honestly, I'm not sure on the title yet, but you've probably seen it because I'm probably going to title it this, the 21 foot rule. This is a big deal with concealed carry or anything like that. Um, not sure if you guys have heard of it, I'll give you the basics rundown, then I'm going to show you kind of the drill and the, the, the performance behind it, okay? So 21 feet, 7 yards, however you want to look at it. Um, so the whole drill is pretty much based upon, I would say, pretty much CWP carry, uh, concealed carry. Um, but just in general, this should be a basic uh, standard time for you, okay? No matter how you're really carrying. Um, so the rule of thumb is pretty much at 21 feet away, I have this white piece of paper, which is going to be my target, okay? Um, that's simulating an A box. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than an A box. Could fold it in half, but honestly, that works just fine. Um, pretty much just saying that if an attacker with a knife or whatever the deal may be if he didn't really have a firearm or even if he wasn't using it at the time if he's in that 21 foot rule pretty much if he starts charging at you you have roughly two seconds to be able to draw your firearm and to put shots on target accurately okay um, so that's the critical rule of thumb is you want two seconds and some of you guys say you might you might think well two seconds that's that's pretty that's pretty slow you know that's not that bad and uh, to a certain extent, you know, I, I can agree with you. That's not bad if your accuracy is there. Um, your draw and everything should be pretty fast. There shouldn't be an issue with that. Um, but now your accuracy is going to be key. Hopefully you can get to the point where you can land all of them inside the A-box. Um, but that way, you know, a lot of people say, well, it's not realistic. You're shooting all in the A-box, whatever. Once again, I have to pretty much prove myself all the time or say something about this all the time. But it's, it's you, you work on your marksmanship here on the range. That way, hey, if I'm shooting 7 yards, 21 feet, and landing all inside the A box right here, once I get under stress, I shouldn't have an issue landing them on the target. Because you do not want any stray rounds. If you're on a real life scenario, you don't want any stray rounds. You could be hurting bystanders, you, uh, innocent people, um, children. You don't, wanna, you don't want that, that liability. So you want to know what you're capable of. So if you can put all your shots in, in the A box right here at 7 yards, you shouldn't have an issue landing them somewhere on the torso. Um, at least your shots aren't going flying everywhere, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm trying to get this right at two seconds. Let me grab my shot timer really fast. I'm going to try to go slow. That way you can kind of maybe see exactly where that two second mark is at. Like I said, generally most people can draw that fast, but it's your, your accurate shots that count. And you have a hard time, um, your brain has a hard time breaking up different speeds when it's in race mode. So uh, that's one thing this drill can help. You can even do this drill with dry fire drills. This is a great drill for that. Um, but you generally people want to draw fast shoot just as fast as they draw and realistically that's not you know a lot of times it's not the case especially with people just starting this out or maybe who might be uh, kind of beginner shooters um, they can still draw fast but they're, they're not capable of shooting as fast as they draw accurately so you really want to make sure that your shots count um, that's where this is really critical you don't want to try to race I mean you want to you want to push your time you want to push your limits that's how you improve you want to be able to miss I always tell people you know hey if you don't miss you're not training hard enough um, so, I mean, you want to do that, but you want to have a starting point, but work them small goals, okay? Um, so let's get to this. Make sure my shot timer is ready. I'm going from out of the waistband. Like I said, you just can still carry just how you carry out of the waistband. Generally, it should be under two seconds, though. So we're out here at the seven yard mark. Let's get it. And you should be wearing eye protection for this. Okay, that's about as close as I can get it. So that was a. 195. I don't know if the camera can focus. 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 So 195. So that was just under two seconds, okay? Just under two seconds. And that was my shot placement. So that definitely would have been an A box um, right there. So, like I said, you want to keep doing, I'm not going to keep doing this drill just because I'm trying to conserve ammo too at the same time. But I just want to show you guys that this is an awesome drill that you can do at the, um, you can do this at an indoor range. A lot of people don't have the option to go to an outdoor range. So you can do this at an indoor range, staying stationary. You can change up the drill. You can take a knee. You can do this dry firing around your house. If you do dry fire and you not don't have, you know, a spot to where you... If you're not on your range, make sure your gun is clear. Double check it, triple check it, whatever you have to do. There is safe ways. You can train, or you can do dry fire drills inside your house with sticky notes, stuff like that. Um, but and you can do it safely. Just make sure your firearm is clear. If you do not feel safe doing that, don't do it. Don't worry about it. Okay? Because I want to make sure. Same thing with like the whole uh, 
trigger discipline or safety you're carrying one in the chamber um, a lot of people say you should always carry one in the chamber you might not have the time to put one in the chamber when the, when the scenario happens and that's absolutely true but I would rather you not carry one in the chamber take your chances if you don't feel safe doing so okay I want to make sure you guys are safe and comfortable some people aren't comfortable around firearms so safety first safety first guys uh, but I would absolutely recommend you get to the level of comfortability to where you can carry one in the chamber. So hope this drill helps you guys out. Um, gives you, uh, you know, gives you a good standard. I think everybody should be able to meet this criteria. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys want to take a class with me, you're more than welcome to. You can check out my channel at Target One Firearms Training on Facebook. Um, and thank you guys for whoever's been coming out to my uh, classes and everything. Thank you guys so much. Um, it means a lot and I appreciate all the support. See you guys next time.